set. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Georgina Rose is towards the outside and just behind that accidental tourist. And Prosecco is a fighter but is going off to lead them right there. Peppermint T with a good place. They are followed by Duchess Lane is on the inside. You see the rider has pulled the horse out of the race and Prosecco has gone wrong. And it's Peppermint T who now takes it up. Back in second is Royal Katrina. On the inside of that one there, Duchess Lane. Then comes some one exciting procrastinations further back in the run. Then comes Sam's dancer, Georgina Rose, and accidental tourist as they turn into the home stretch with about 500 meters to go. And Peppermint T is the leader. Royal Katrina is the first one to challenge. Duchess Lane between runners. Someone exciting. Procrastination. Accidental tourist needs some running room. Georgina Rose is on the outside. And then Sam's dancer as they come down to the 200. And Peppermint T the leader. And yes, Georgina Rose with a big run, procrastination, accidental tourist, but Georgina Rose is coming well, down the inside, accidental tourist, it's getting close, but it's going to go to Georgina Rose, accidental tourist second, procrastination third, Sands Dancer ran into that fourth position. So number four, Georgina Rose is the winner at 4.30. Garth Puller, the just as well. Accidental tourist, just look at that head on. Didn't get the clearest passage at about the 200 and goes down by about a neck or so, long head to a neck. So that is second, number one. Tote favorite was number six, someone exciting. Procrastination runs third, Sands dances fourth, and then Peppermint T and unfortunately Prosecco went wrong. Um, we'll take a look at that head on shortly. So watch the horse three off the right with the pink sleeves and cap. That's Accidental Tourist. The winner's on the extreme right hand side. Now look, the rider has to take hold and then goes in. And that could, well, uh, could have cost it the long head or the neck decision. But although Georgina Rose wins well, and Georgina Rose has now won back-to-back -back victories. Toad favorite was number six. Until the third race, we'll do a test your knowledge. Back to the studio. Well, Garth Puller, he's full of a go miniature. He's taking home the lolly today, and Georgina Rose did just as well. When she won the first time out, she was very impressive, and she took on some older and hard knockers here. Yeah, you know, she's, uh, I must say, she's a, she's a filly with that, like, come on, look about her. She does everything right. She's just very head shy to get the bridle on her. But other than that, she goes, does the work. You can give her a good workout. She doesn't blow. She, came, she walked in here now. She, she's never been here before. She just marched into the winner's box. And her, her nostrils are hardly even flaring. She's just one of those fillies that's clear-winded. Um, thanks to Bruce, Bruce Breder, and Bruce kept a share in her, which I'm very appreciative of. And uh, to Gerald Khalil, a good client and friend of mine. Uh, good luck to him two runs and uh, and two wins it's, you can't ask for better than that and then to wendy mike sam and the boys back at home and, you know it's it's a team effort uh, look we had a favorite in the first and it run a dismal race and i couldn't work out why because maybe i'm barking up the wrong tree and coming short instead of going further but uh thank god this filly's come through and she's won it's a big ask when they haven't been here running on the poly. The poly's a bit loose. She couldn't get in. The horse broke down in front of her. But I must say I'm very, I'm very happy with the win, and I'll take it with both hands. Then a horse who needs some luck is Gibraltar Green, desperately unlucky last time. Yeah, look, he's, uh, the kids make mistakes. It happens to everybody. It happened to me when I was riding, so I know all about it. I put him back on. And uh, with, a, with a bit of luck in running, he's, he's a contender. It's a tougher field, but he's a contender. Well done. Thank you very much. There's Garth Puller. I just, uh, I mustn't forget to thank Hollywood. I mean, they're all standing here. I'll be in trouble if I don't. Um, for their support, we really need it, and we appreciate everything they're doing for the grooms, for the racing, and for, for Natal. Well done. Let's get Luke Ferraris in now. He's done all the riding on Georgina Rose, and unfortunately, one of the horses went to miss, so it hampered a few runners. Yeah, Sheldon, I think, um, you know, it was unfortunate that the horse did that, um, and we were stuck through run, but thankfully, we had cover um, through the running, and yeah, when I pulled her out for a run, she really went through her gears nicely and, and won a nice race. Well, well done. The rest of your card? 
Yeah, sure. I think they definitely deserve um, some respect. Um, I can't point out many, but um, they should be. Well done. Thank you. Another big thank you to Mr. Puller, Mr. Khalil, Mr. Bruce LaRue, um, and to Mr. Puller once again, who also has a share in the Philly, um, to my sponsors, Aventure. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Well, there you have it. Now, the winning groom, he's going to get his winning token, the 1,000 Rand there. His name is Alpheus. So, well done to Alpheus, or the representative standing in, Georgina Rose from a luckless accidental tourist.